Good morning, everyone. Um, I just got another common question: is how, if a staff member is coming to you asking for a pay raise, how do you deal with it? And um, again, for credibility, my name is Khaled. I'm a dentist from um, Queensland in Australia. I have been running a private practice for over uh, 14 years now, and I have a team of 40 members in my team of dentists, hygienists, sta front office staff, managers, and dental assistants. If a staff is coming to me for a, asking for a pay raise and they haven't secured another job or they had another job offer with a pay raise, I will track back and I will tell you an exercise that I always do. I always classify my staff into two types. One type, category A, they are the exceptional types. The type that I really want to keep in my practice, their energy, their attitude, their skills, their vibe, everything about them is amazing and it's helping my team to grow. And type B is the type that mm, they're just doing average, they're doing okay. I mean, if, I, if they want to go, I can easily replace them and, and I can retrain someone in the position really quick. So if someone, when I classify this classification, anyone in type B, routinely I will actually be starting to look into if I can get them if I cannot get them to be of type A I may be actually be actively trying to replace them very slowly or eliminate them in from my team because I want my team to be all winners I want them to be all type A if I can so if this person comes to me and from type B I hope I probably want them to raise their salary or match whatever they've been offered and I will let them go but with type A, usually I approach them before they even approach me and ask them to if they want to review their wage. And this is a type of, that if they come to me with another job offer, I might consider matching it or even having a discussion of what stops them from doing taking the other job. The other job could be maybe having a better salary, but maybe they have to travel longer, maybe it's longer hours. There's something obviously they don't like about the other job. So I might try to click down and understand this more before I even match their um, or, or match what they've been offered. But if I want to match it, I will match it. But usually I will do this once. So if they come back to me a few months later with another offer higher as well, and I, and I feel I'm already paying above average or within what I'm comfortable with, I will only give them this chance only once. Because after that, I want loyalty in my business as well. I want them to be completely loyal and devoted to our business. Uh, if you find this classification helpful, uh, please uh, share or your comment. Uh, share with your comment below, and please like and share and subscribe so I can provide you with more information.